Howdy folks, Josh Mason here. I wanted to give you a life update. I wanted to create some more cohesion here in my YouTube channel where I take you uh, from video to video to video so it's not so sporadic. I realize that the most successful YouTubers are not just making random videos. They're really connecting with their audience in that way and I, and I wanna do that. So <clears throat> I'm gonna make a better attempt at doing that. Um, quick life update. Uh, I haven't felt well for the past seven days. I had an ear infection seven days ago um, from swimming in the lagoon and from uh, swimming in the lagoon, a pool, a hot tub, and just going swimming a ton in like a span of a 24 hours. And I also lost my seed, which really, really weakens my immune system. And I ended up getting uh, like a throat, sinus, and ear infection. And the other reason for that is that my tonsils are in really bad shape. Um, whenever somebody has had mercury poisoning, the tonsil tissue literally like dies and is, it's destroyed. Um, not permanently, there's this one therapy in the entire world that can help it. So my two options now are basically to get my tonsils removed because the tissues are destroyed. And it's not a function of like how healthy I eat or how healthy I am or like, what I do or supplements, I've tried everything. I've literally tried 15 different things for the lymphatic system. And the, this tissue here is so beat up from the mercury fillings and mercury poisoning and neurotoxicity. So because of that, it's like the, the, the toilet, uh, it's like the toilet of the lymphatic system and when it's not draining properly, stuff kind of gets stuck. So uh, I'm going to Germany next week to do a regenerative cryotherapy with Dr. Dorohov, and he's the only doctor in the whole world that does this therapy, and I need it. Um, I, I may have to go to Germany a couple times, um, and if it doesn't work, I got to get my tonsils removed. At this point, they are, it's collateral damage from, I think that's the right term, collateral damage. It's, it's damage from my years of sickness, basically. Um, and... The past week, I uh, I felt like shit, and what made it salt salt on the wound was that I had to go on antibiotics. I tried so many different natural remedies, and I could not get to the root of what was ailing me. Um, I just couldn't get. I couldn't. That's not the right term. Sorry, I'm, I'm not totally clear right now. I couldn't uh, address the infection with herbs or with any other modalities: colloidal silver, H2O2, ozone. I, I gave up after three days. I lost complete hearing in this ear, and I was just like, I need to go on antibiotics. And they're horrible. They make me feel like shit. I had to stop early because they were that horrible for me. They made me anxious. They made me feel, have dark thoughts. They made me uh, feel disconnected from spirit. They made me tired. So anyway, I just got off of them yesterday, and I'm still recovering. But it was a huge suicide in a way to have to go on antibiotics. I had to let a part of myself die because I haven't touched Western medicine in like six or seven years. Um, so there's definitely a part of me this past week that felt very disappointed in myself. I felt down. I felt like I was a disappointment to you guys. I was in a low point. So, you know, I was in this space of like, I'm a failure, I'm, uh, you know, Whenever I get in low spaces, this thing that I would love to set myself free from, hence this video, is like, you know, oh my God, I'm the detox dudes and I'm going through pain and I'm going through shit and, and everything's, I'm a fake, I'm a phony, everyone's going to know you're a phony, blah, 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 blah. And it's this thing that really keeps me stuck in this darkness, like quicksand that wants to just suck me down. And it's all bullshit and it's garbage and I want to just set myself free from it. Guess what? Yes, I am the detox dude, but more so I'm Josh Mason and I go through shit. Sometimes I'm in a massive amount of pain. I'm afraid to die. I'm afraid to go back to the place that I was. I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to be in pain. I'm afraid that I'm a failure. I'm afraid of not looking good. All of these things come through my mind and I'm not interested in them and I want to set myself free and unleash myself from any uh, restricting, constricting thoughts that I have around who I am and what sort of name I need to with uphold. It's all nonsense. I got to where I am because of my authenticity, because I am who I am, and I need to keep that. And that's why, that's the purpose of this video. So, 
Yes, yeah, sometimes I go through some deep shit. And when I go down, I go down freaking hard sometimes. You know, it's like I go through sometimes a few days of just like, whew, I'm in the dark. I'm in the shadows, you know. And um, I'm not fully free yet, you know. I'm not a fully free bird. Uh, I don't know when that'll be. Maybe when I die. But I, I definitely... Um, I definitely have some some uh, darkness and, and shadows and pain that's being purged out of my system at a really intense rate right now. So um, anyway, that's a little friendly update for you. <laughs> um, so what else? What else do I got for you? Well, I feel much better now. It's been a day off the antibiotics. I can already feel my life force start coming back in my eyes and my head and my connection. Um, I recently went to Sophia Institute and did interviews with Dr. Klinghart and Dr. Christine Schaffner. Freaking, they're doing God's work over there. I love that institute. Amazing, amazing work. Stay tuned for those interviews. They're coming soon. I have another podcast I did with three, uh, three men here in this backyard, Colin and David Beaudry. David Beaudry is the owner of the, um, Embody, um, the Movement Flow Academy, Noble Movement Academy. And he's a Qigong wizard, and the podcast was beautiful. Um, I'm going to go to Germany next week, and then I'm going to Iceland. Um, and what else? What else? Um, I'm going to Germany to do the regenerative cryotherapy, and then on the way home, I have a layover in Iceland. It was a 27-hour layover, and I, uh, I connected with a friend who lives in England, and he wanted to come meet me there and hang out. So uh, he's actually a client slash friend, and he's super successful dude, marketing dude. His name is Iman Godzi, badass 19-year-old, a 19-year-old who's freaking light years ahead of most 50-year-olds. And um, we're going to meet in Iceland for about three or four days. Uh, yeah, three days um, as I come home from Germany back to San Francisco. Um, so that's exciting. And uh, I have a few other collabs that I have I've, I've yet to post. Um, I'm really curious of what you think of my collabs, if you're enjoying them. And if, they, if you jive with them, I really want to make sure I spread the word of people who I think are badass healers and helpers and helping me. And it's also just part of my authentic life. You know, I'm not going to these people. Uh, well, Sophia, I went to just for the interviews, but other clinics that I go to, I'm really going for my own personal health, you know, my, especially my back, you know, my, my weakest links in my body. And I, and I just want to, I want to just share all this with you all. My weaknesses. I want to share with you my weaknesses, my shadows, my darkness, my pains, because then I can free myself from having to keep all that secret or fearing what somebody thinks about it. You know, it really is useful to, 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 to talk about these things, especially when you have a YouTube channel, because it just pops the bubble that that bubble that's cooking of all your fear and your neuroses. It just pops it because um, because when you see that you share yourself and people still respect you and still hire you for a coach and still pay for your course and still come to your retreats after you sharing all of your vulnerabilities, you're like, oh my God, all of that nonsense that I tell myself about having to be perfect or having to come across a certain way or having to uh, look a certain way or look good or talk to talk good, it's all bullshit. Because I could be myself, I could be Josh Mason, and people still like me, and then you, and then I'm free, and then I'm free to be myself without that anchor or that that, that constriction to trying to be somebody, you know, trying to be the detox dude or trying to withhold some sort of name or label or brand. I'm not interested in any of that. Me, my core, my that's first. My business is second. What's first is me, my mission, my core, and and my my. My core. If my core can't, if my core is not safe to be presented to my people, then I'm not doing my mission. Everything else is for null. So, um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I want to set myself free. I care so much about how I look sometimes, about how I come across. I want to look good. I want to sound good. I want to be, you know, all of this nonsense. And I just, I'm not interested in it. I'm not interested. And sometimes it holds so much, so much electricity that could literally make me sick or anxious or, or feel like I'm about to explode, you know? So 
I'm, not, I'm done with that. I'm done. I'm demanding that I'm done right now, here on camera, in front of all of you. So, yeah. <laughs> not the lightest update, but it's, it's real for me. It's important for me to talk about this. And um, I want to keep you guys in the loop. I want to I wanna keep you engaged with where I'm at and keep, a, again, like I said, a cohesive story. Oh, uh, I, um, I, have, I have a project that I'm working on where I ask my audience to make a 30 to 60 second video for me, a testimonial about if my work has touched them in a positive way. And I just sent it out to Facebook, sent it out to a few clients. I have 20 of them already, 20 videos of people authentically. I didn't pay them, I didn't pressure them, I didn't give them anything for it, authentically sharing with me how I changed their life. And that shit is like fuel for my adrenals. It's like fuel. I watch those and I'm like, yes, my mission, I'm on my mission, it's important. I must continue on, I must move forward. I must keep doing what I'm doing. Because I got to tell you, sometimes it gets exhausting to be in, in this, in this, uh, on this mission. It gets exhausting to be helping people who are in very, very sick places. Um, and uh, it's a big learning lesson in how I manage my energy. And let me tell you something, those testimonials are gold for me, for my health, for my vitality, for my mission, for my money, for my business, for all things. Those testimonials are this beautiful loop of energy that fuel me. So if you want to participate, I'm going to be editing the video in the next three or four days. So I'll post a link in the info description. It says to be done on, by September 12th, I think, but I'll change that date anyway. Um, I would love if you joined on that. It would mean a lot to me. And only if it's authentic. It has to be authentic, of course. So, anyway, that's all I got for you. That's my update on my life. Uh, next few videos are going to be collaboration videos. Really, really awesome videos. I have an epic one-hour interview with Dr. Klinghart, the godfather of detox himself. Alrighty, I've talked very quickly in this video. I think that's all I got for you. Peace.